sweat on. It did. Anyway, doesn't matter because it's a great time to be a petrol head. Congestion charging is going in this part of London. Bendy buses are going. Speed cameras are going. And at Christmas, we get the best present we could have dreamed of. John Prescott's idiotic Emperor bus line is gone! Yes! And on that bother. I've got some more good news for you. Good news! The new Dacia Dustin will be on sale in Britain quite soon. <laughs> Great! Yeah. Oh, but there is bad news, of course. I don't know if you've got any Formula One fans here. Um, it what? seems the World Championship is going to be won by the lisping, monobrowed donkey murderer who doesn't want to drive his Ferrari when it's drizzling. Speak down. That is, that is really sad. I don't want him to win, but I think he will. The only other bad bit of news really is Top Gear, of course. Normally we'd be on your tellies at the moment, but we're not because the next series doesn't start until Christmas this year. Yeah, now there's a very good reason for that. We simply couldn't be bothered. <laughs> To do it. Yeah, does that, plus the fact that James May was too busy making his new television programme, Man Lab. Yeah. James, of course, is an expert on men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm surprised you called it Man Lab. Yeah. Because a man doesn't have a lab. Okay. The other reason we couldn't do it, of course, James was also busy making his new advert. You may have seen him in the uh, campaign for London Pride. It is. Where is he? Yeah. Put him up on the screen. I want to see this. Oh, there, he there he is. Look, yeah. Dumbledore. <laughs> the offenders register years. <laughs> it was a disaster for him, actually. He thought it was for gay pride. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Cross is pulled out of that campaign for Packers Fudge. <laughs> the real reason, ladies and gentlemen, we are not on television at the moment is because we've actually been very busy. We've been away filming the Top Gear Christmas special in the Middle East, which we don't want to tell you about because that would spoil it. But I can give you a little bit of beside be, uh, behind the scenes gossip. It concerns. Richard Hammond's exploding bottom. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, that was actually very funny. We've all been there. You know, when you, when you're sitting opposite him at dinner one night, I can't remember what country you were in, suddenly his face had that look of a man who had to be on the laboratory in, in about 10 seconds. Now, if he'd have been in room 304, he'd have been fine. Sadly, he was in room 306. So he got to the door and then a brown Niagara came out. <laughs> With such ferocity, it actually ru ruined not just his pants and his trousers, but his socks and shoes as well. Yeah. Actually, it got worse, because after that first bout, I thought, well, that's over, I'll go into my room. I was about to open the door and step in when I felt another attack coming, and I thought, well, there's no point ruining my bedroom, I'll just, I'll just stand out here in the corridor and finish the job off. There was people walking past him, going, all right, Rich? Yeah, just taking a dump. <laughs> Yeah, it was horrible. I was in room 304. Um, you didn't get away with it entirely, though, did you? Because you did have a very bad attack. I did. Although, in fairness to Jeremy, he was at least in his room. Yes, in my bed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm waking up uh, unpleasant. Anyway, speaking of arses, the stick. Um, <laughs> you probably heard they had a spot of bother with him over the summer. Uh, he woke up one morning and decided he was Geoffrey Archer. Like a uh, yes. So uh, the newspapers portrayed this as a terrible calamity and it would be the end of Top Gear, but in fact, really no big deal, as this short film will demonstrate. 